Hello everyone. So as the title of the video says, um, this is the Nouveau Blue Blossom release. To some of you, this is old news. <laughs> this came out like early September, but shipping delays and just one issue after another made this take its sweet time to get to me. So I have most of it to show to you guys. I don't have any of the paper products like Tonic Release Beautiful, you know, glitter cardstock, a pattern paper pack, etc. Um, I'll link to all of it so you can check it out. I know some of it, it looks so different in real life, but I'm working with what I got here. So I have all the embellishment-y ink, etc. parts of it and oh, I really like this. Even though we're all like gearing up for like, you know, fall and Christmas cards, there's just something about this color collection. Like, I don't know, it's so pretty. I really like it. Well, I'm partial to pink, of course, but love it. Love it. So, we have, um, let's just how about kind of do one thing at a time so I'm not like as all over the place. So there's a new pack of Nouveau Aquaflow brushes. I've done multiple videos on these. Love them. When you get them, when they're brand new, there's this little like neon color plastic piece. All you have to do is unscrew it and remove that. That's just to keep these from like leaking. And then you just screw this back on, just like so. And then when you take, make sure these are actually like on here properly. There. So then when they're brand new again, there's nothing, there's nothing there. So you want to like actually get that ink going. So you just gotta squeeze it, you'll see it come through. Don't squeeze too, too much. Like once you start seeing it come through, it's gonna start feeding into the actual brush tip. That's always my bad, is I tend to usually squeeze it way too much. So we've got three new colors. So there's, let me name the colors on here. Pink Lemonade, Cameo Pink, and Blue Velvet. And yeah, you can paint directly with these. A lot of times I like to, you know, add the color from the brush and then I move it around with a water brush. So there's the first two colors. So like a lighter pink, a more mauve color of pink. And then this blue, this blue velvet. I think it's gonna be a deeper sort of a blue color. There we go. Yeah, almost like, like a navy blue color. Really pretty. So yeah. Um, so we got those. Let's move that over there. Uh, we have three new colors of the Nouveau alcohol markers. Same thing, I've done a few videos so far on these. And with their new color collections, they usually come out with um, more colors. So these ones are pinks, flamingo pinks. So this is an old Nouveau chart. I've been like adding as new colors have been coming out. <laughs> Whatevs. Um, let's see, I wanna do a little scrap first to see where I'm gonna put, where I'm going to put these. If I can find, there it is. Find a little scrap so I can kind of figure out. Yeah, this is, these are very pink. Oh yeah. I think I'll stick them in between here for now. Just to save me from having to redo this. Um, so yeah, the Nouveau alcohol markers do not have refills. I've had people ask me about that. There are not, there's no way to actually like refill them. Like, I guess I suppose if they, yeah, if they had refills, but that's part of like why the price is so low on these. Um, but yeah, they have a fine point nib and a chisel and I don't use the chisel end very much. And they blend and work well. Um, I've had people ask like to compare them to Copics. In a sense, it's like comparing apples to oranges, really. Um, Cause they're just different, you know? Like Copics are their own sphere of 
alcohol markers. Um, and I'll never not use my Copics because I love them. But these are just a nice alternative because, yeah, you can get a pack of three for about the price of one Copic marker. Um, but again, personal preference. I just, I'm glad that there's more colors coming out. We need to get more, like, neutral tones in my opinion. Maybe some more, like, blue colors. But definitely more neutrals. I think we need to, like, fill it out. But there's, uh, like, a good option now. So, 450. I just. Two. Four. I use that for my reference. And yeah. So, there's three new pinks. Let's set that aside. Why not get my tiny little bit of swatching done in the video? Then, there's also three. Um, Hybrid inks, Nouveau's hybrid inks, um, all surfaces ink, as most hybrid inks are. So you can actually stamp on acetate, etc. Um, highly pigmented colors, permanent fast drying inks, they're waterproof, smudge proof. So you can stamp and color with um, alcohol markers, you can watercolor, etc. Like stamp an image and then watercolor it, and these won't move. So yeah, we've got Midnight, Midnight Surf. It's like a steel blue, cause like a gray blue sort of a color. And then we have Siren Blue, which looks like it's gonna be, oh yeah, really intense blue. And then we have a Raspberry Smoothie, which is again, almost kind of like that mauve sort of purpley pink. Really pretty. So there's those. And then we have a glitter marker. This is the Pressed Peony Glitter Marker. If I can get it out of the package. So these, almost like anything else, need to be activated because the, you know, glitter and everything is in here. So you just need to kind of press it and let the color like start to feed into and you'll start seeing it feed into the tip there we go oh yeah this is a sort of thing like <clears throat> maybe for like certain elements I would use something like this to like fill in a little element you know fill in the berries or whatever, but this would also be really nice. I would use something like this to like address envelopes if you have nice writing, even if you don't, I think, because it's just pretty. Let's see if I can show you guys the actual glitter, the glitter in it. Here we go. So yeah, they're pretty. So we have that. Speaking of glitter, there's Nouveau uh, glitter paste in strawberry champagne, and it's absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous! Oh, the color. Just, ugh, love, 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 love. Um, glitter paste just like any other medium like this. Um, something I need to be more aware of is make sure you wipe the top and the edges if you manage to get it on the edges before you put the lid on so that that way you're not gluing the lids shut because been there, done that. I also keep the little like foamy insert in the top. I keep that to kind of seal it. But another thing to do is to put like plastic wrap or press and seal. I showed that in another video recently. Um, or even like tinfoil a little bit over this. Any paste sort of like this, because people that have had issues with things drying out, etc. If you add that before you put the lid on, that really seals it really well. And also not leaving it like sitting out and open, like as soon as you're done with it, put the lid on. Speaking of embellishment mousse, that is the other thing that was released. Now embellishment mousse, you can do the same thing, like put like after you've opened it and started using it, etc., um, sealing it with 
a little bit of like press and seal especially is really good or yeah plastic wrap or a little bit of foil um it just helps keep that additional seal between the container and the lid but with embellishment mousse you can add water to this because you can actually add water like it's water based so you can add water if you want to change the consistency of it but you can also add water to this if it is starting to dry out because like that's just the nature of the product especially a water-based product um so i just distilled water you know purified water add a few sprays to it each time you use it even you could add a little bit of water to it seal it up put the lid on and that'll keep it lasting longer um make sure to wipe my little my little spatula off but yeah that is one way to kind of conserve it because like it's definitely like a moussey consistency, but if you want a thinner consistency, you can add some water or put this onto, you know, um, a little pallet. If you don't want to mix the entire container, put this on a pallet, add some water to it, mix it up on the pallet, and then get like get it to the consistency you want. Because this you can apply like as is over a stencil, or you can apply it with like a brush or um, like a nimble blending sponges. I've shown that too. Let me, like, like actually dipping the sponge in and then you just get a really thin consistency of it. And it's just shimmery and light depending on how thick you want to apply it, you know. Apply it thicker over a stencil or apply it really thin and light with a sponge. And then same thing, as soon as you're done working with it. If you want to add a little mist, like I keep distilled water in my mister bottles, just, and people ask me that, like does it have to be distilled? Well, I recommend using distilled water because if you're using things like just your regular tap water, like there could be things in the water that can grow mold. Because I've had people tell me that over, not necessarily with mousse, but it was with some other product and they were like, it started molding and I was like, what were you adding to it? Because <laughs> a lot of times if you're adding just regular you know, tap water, etc. over time, like if it's sitting for months and months and months, there's a chance, you know, things can grow. But yeah, since it's brand new, like one mist and I'm good to go. But yeah, there's my random thoughts on that as we're getting into this. Okay, so we got those. There are four new uh, Nouveau crystal drops. I like that they do kind of one of each type. So we have a glitter drop, a jewel drop, a gloss drop, and a metallic, yeah, a metallic drop. All of them, same idea with these. Um, if your Nouveau drops are getting really, really thick, you can tell sometimes, um, because they don't come out as smooth and they have that peak that do, no matter what even tapping your cardstock the peak doesn't go away and you know it's just not working add a tiny and i mean a tiny little bit of distilled water like a drop or two max shake it up really well let it sit for a bit that works if the tip is clogged um like when you go to add water one you take this out but i just use a pin if it's you know one that sat for too long I just use a pin, remove the top, clean it out, and then um, if I need to, I add a drop. Just a drop or two. Don't add too much because these are small bottles. But yeah, this one's already because it's been like warmed up. Oh, love. But yeah, when they're, when they're, the consistency is good, there should be almost no tails, like when you're using it. You know, like these didn't produce any little tails at all like they're just round so you can see like there's no no tails but if you have that little tail and a little peak and it doesn't go down and it's too thick and you like even when you go like this you know and it doesn't smooth out like that it's just too thick add a drop just a drop or two of distilled water to the bottle let it mix up. You might have to remove, you know, any built up like really thick um, consistency and like that it gets into the applicator. Remove that and you, it should be good to go. So that one was the Crystal Drops Shimmering Rose Metallic. And the other thing I do when I get a new one is I always apply some to the lid. And then I let this completely dry so that I can see at a glance from the top. You know what it looks like dry 
So just tap it and then I set that aside and hopefully not knock it over before I go to use it. So that was that one. This is the Gloss Berry Blue. Oh, this is so pretty. Just the color. It's such a pretty shade of blue. And then this one is a Jewel Drop in Steel Blue. So Jewel Drops will dry translucent. So they go on kind of cloudy and then they dry more translucent but with that shade of color. Really pretty. So pretty. And last but not least we have the Glitter Drop. This is Enchanting Pink. Uh, it looks like candy. <laughs> They're so pretty. So those are the four new crystal drops. Okay, okay so got those. Then we have the Nouveau Glitter Accents. So I don't use these much other than the clear one, which has walked off. Where did it go? I like, here we go. I have the big bottle of the Fresh Snowfall because I like adding that with Christmas cards. Like it's got a larger applicator tip. So I like to add that, you know, to the edges of things as like Snowfall. Um, I think these though, you could also like apply these over a stencil if you wanted. Like these are meant for more like covering larger surface areas. Oh, that's really pretty. It has just a nice glitter to it. Such a nice deep blue. So yeah, this is Ballroom Blue Glitter Accents. And yeah, whereas crystal drops are not meant for large surfaces, like spreading out, etc. These will crack if you make them too large because they're just not meant for that. Um, whereas obviously glitter paste, the Nouveau Mousse, the glitter, um, glitter accents can be go, go across larger surfaces because that's what they're meant for. That is really pretty. So there's that. There's that. Um, we also have <clears throat> two new embossing powders. How am I? I'm going to have to set this aside. <laughs> we have two new embossing powders. There's Pink Popsicle and Duchess Blue. If I do, let's just cut up the scrap. Random little like ghost scraps from other things. Scraps, some clear. Let's just, I don't even need my coffee filters because these scraps are small enough. I should be able to just. Dip that in. I think the pink is kind of self-explanatory, but the blue, I'm curious to see how that's going to look when it melts. But yeah, the pink is very solid. Those are pretty. Both of them have almost the littlest bit of a sheen to them, but not crazy metallic or anything. They're just pretty. Like, those are pretty. So yeah, that was Pink Popsicle Embossing Powder and Duchess Blue Embossing Powder. Then there are four new types of like glitter, confetti, sequins, etc. I'm gonna have a mess going on. So we've got Bluebell Hearts Pure Sheen Confetti. They're literally just tiny hearts. So cute. And they're like holographic reflection. 
all in tiny little heart shapes. Love. Containers this size will last a person pretty much forever. Literally, they're just gonna get everywhere. So those were, there's hearts. There are rose shell blossoms. So just a gorgeous shade of pink. And they're little like blossom shaped confetti. Just, and these of course, my, I need to use like my anti-static powder tool on my um, trays here because otherwise, here we go. Otherwise we're gonna have a mess. Okay, so there's that. And then we have the Bluebell Pure Sheen Glitter. Bluebell piercing glitter, and then last but not least is the pink tutu piercing sequins. And again, you got like a ton, and there's like three sizes I think in here. And they have like a pink sheen on top of the like actual sequin. Love. So we have those, and then we have two mica mists. So we've got Midnight Horizon and Pink Carnation. Mica mists are literally um, ideal for adding a shimmering sparkle create product. A uniquely engineered solution contains mica powder and colored pigment, which adheres to service. And you can literally see, you can see right there, like there's all the mica and pigment. So these are definitely something you need to mix up before you use. Um, because these have mica in them, I don't use these very often. They're gonna give you more of like a sheer effect, but also um, because they have the mica powder in them, always make sure you're like cleaning off the nozzle, like wipe it down really well after you're using it because I have a feeling that these will clog. My thing is more, I like to use stuff like this for like um, splatter, but they'll still create a really good shimmer. So, that said, let's let's kind of protect the work surface here. So I've got a couple scraps. Let's just spray these scraps with it. So the pink one, yeah. Make sure everything is really well shaken up and there's no like blobs of the powder. This definitely is going to give more of a sheer effect. I wish I could, I don't know if I'm going to be able to show this on camera. Like if you guys can see the actual shimmer. Kind of. I wonder if I get it on a different, rather than craft. Sometimes craft is not the easiest. Let's try it on this dark green that I have. There we go. That shows up a little better. Craft is not the greatest. There you go. So just like this nice, pretty, pale pink shimmer. So nice. And like I said, you want to make sure, like, clean off the nozzle. You should technically do that with, like, all any sort of spray, ink, spray, shimmer, spray, whatever. Clean off the nozzle to try and eliminate. You can also, like, try spraying it a little bit upside down to try and clean out. I haven't had to do that yet, but... And if they do get clogged, another thing is you could actually just take take that off and like soak it you know in hot water because it's just the nature of products like this anything with like mica in it and a spray nozzle it wants to get clogged so there's that one that's really pretty that's really pretty <laughs> and then we have this blue one this is the midnight horizon let's try this on the craft first just to see how it how it's gonna look one's definitely more, um, a little more pigmented. Obviously, it's a darker color, though. But here, let's try it on, like, brown. These look, I think these look prettiest, like, on a dark cardstock. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. These Megamas definitely, like, show their true colors. Um, on darker cardstock, it just gives it more of that pretty sheen. 
and it just picks up better in my opinion versus like lighter ones like craft white etc like it's still pretty now that this pink one is drying it is still really pretty i just do prefer it like on the dark it completely changes the look of it so those were the mica mists and then last but certainly not least of what i have to show you guys is there's a new um Shimmer powder. This is meteorite shower. I'm kind of excited. Let's find a scrap of watercolor paper. Um, here we go. I'll just use one of these. So, the beauty of these, and again, I've done a whole bunch of videos, is the unpredictability of it. You can, though, sprinkle a little bit, I've showed that to you, um, into like a palette and pick it up with a water brush and paint it. Um, that works too. And you know what? Let's just be a little safer because I have a tendency to make a mess. <laughs> Put this in my splat box. Ooh, yeah. That's so pretty. <sighs> Isn't that fun? That was fun. This is why I love doing these videos for you guys, because I get to sit and play and see it all too, like firsthand. Friggin' out. So yeah, that is the Meteorite Shower Nouveau Shimmer Powder. That's gorgeous. I'm so excited to play with that. Love. All right, I've made an absolute mess. <laughs> I need to clean up. Um, this is the Tonic Nouveau Blue Blossom Collection in a nutshell. Um, like I said, there's glitter, cardstock, there's some foil, like, I wish I had them to show because it's always like you see them in real life and it's like, oh, so much better than online. But I'll link to them and hopefully be able to get my hands on them soon so I can show you guys. But yeah, I will have links below the video um, as well as on my blog, on my blog it's actual picture links. But I'll link to everything including some of the random things I showed as well. So I'll have links to all that below and I'll have videos coming using these products, incorporating them. This is just like totally distract. All of this is like distracting me. Look at the shimmer. <sighs> these are fun, fun, love. Okay, I gotta go so I can edit this <laughs> and share it with you guys. I'll see y'all very soon in the next video. Bye.